Hi, I'm Edward Joukowsky. Welcome to Phys Ed for Caregivers. Okay, what can we do when we're lying in our bed to increase our range of motion and feel better and energized? And you can do these movements, exercises, stretches at any time. Let's first start with when you first wake up in the morning, instead of just quickly getting out of bed, why don't we try a couple of things? For instance, you're lying down, either on your back, on your side, on your front, and all you're going to do is just bend your legs like so, bring your knees towards your chest, try not to put your hands on top of your knees if you have any kind of a knee issue because you don't want to exacerbate that, and then you're going to tuck your hands under your knees and just simply rock back and forth, nice and easy. And This is going to loosen up your spinal cord, your back region, and it's going to get your tummy moving as well. Okay, so that's first. Then what you're going to do is you always want your back supported. So you're going to roll over and put your hand on the bed, push up, and then position yourself and put your legs about three feet apart. And now we're going to stretch our hamstrings, which are located in the back of our legs. And you're going to reach towards your toes. And if you happen to be wearing socks or if you want to get a pair of socks on, actually that could be very good because it could use that as leverage to bend forward if one cannot touch their toes and hold their toes in that position. What you don't want to do is bend the knees in order to touch the toes because the stretch at that point becomes fruitless. So it's better to have your legs straight, reach towards your toes, and with time as you become more flexible, you'll get there and beyond, of course. The other thing that you could do is when you're lying in bed is let's say that you have a kind of high bed or a low bed but it doesn't matter the higher it is the harder and the more efficient it will be is let's say you come to the edge of the bed you put your hands behind you and what you do is you put one leg down and bend it and you extend your other leg down and all you're going to do is just lift that leg up and lift it down nice and easy try to keep the legs straight again by doing the hamstring stretch it's going to allow you to keep that leg straighter throughout the movement and this is going to work on the back of your legs hamstring top of the legs your quadricep and build some endurance and then of course just switch over and do the opposite leg so in review you can do some roll-ups when you first wake up get that back nice and loose this if you don't have a knee issue, this if you do have any kind of a knee issue, and just rock gently back and forth. And then of course from there you're going to go to your stretches of your hamstrings. If you have socks and you don't have good flexibility, use them to help you lean forward. If not, if you can touch your toes, just hold it. And you want to hold the stretch anywhere between 30 seconds and one minute. And then you can do some leg lifts. One leg, hands behind to support your back. Lift it up and down, and then of course switch up and down. And the last thing you could do is just bring your knees up towards you with your feet on the ground, and this works your tummy a little bit, and you just bring your feet towards your chest and back down, towards your chest and back down. Don't jerk. Nice and slow. Exhale, down. Take a deep breath. Exhales, you come up and down. And make sure that whenever you do these movements and exercises, that you do them in a fashion that's not too rushed. So critical, hamstring flexibility, get your legs, get your back loose before you wake up in the morning or even before you go to sleep. And those are the tip of the day with Phys Ed for caregivers.